Hi everyone, George here and today is a very special day because I am at the RHS Urban Garden Show, the Royal Horticultural Society Urban Garden Show. So it's the first time Aquascaping's ever been involved at this show. It's quite a prestigious event, so very privileged to be here and be invited. I'll show you our stand, the George Farmer Studio stand, all focused on aquascaping. And I'll just show you a quick kind of tour of the, of the other stands here at Lawrence Hall. There's actually another hall, uh, Lindley Hall, which has got a, a load of other exhibits as well. So maybe I'll get a chance to look at those too. But yeah, super excited. Let's go. So the event is closed right now. I'm actually here an hour early because I wanted to do some filming. But this is like the main kind of entrance where the, where the, uh, the paying public will come in into Lawrence Hall. It's an amazing building, old Victorian building. And yeah, it's, uh, it's actually really cold. <laughs> so I've got a jumper on, which is the first time for a while. So we've got Halloween coming up. So some pumpkins there. And here we go, is a kind of exhibitor list here. Uh, they'll be on there somewhere. Uh, I'm actually doing some workshops today. I'll talk about that in a moment. You kind of get a sense of how big this hall is. If I just tilt the screen upwards, absolutely beautiful space. So loads of stands selling house plants, succulents, all sorts of horticultural goodies. This is a beautiful stand here, very, very well laid out. some sort of shabby chic kind of style stuff. Some beautiful artwork here. Best wildflower photographs. Absolutely stunning. Some more traditional kind of things, some of the sort of house plants most of you will recognise probably. Very interesting pink flamingo watering cans. <laughs> These are very cool. Got some hanging glass vials. Like light bulbs, actually, fake light bulbs with air plants. Very cool. It's very kind of air plant dominated, this stand. So, yesterday we opened, uh, yesterday evening, opened at 5 pm and closed at 10 pm, and we had around about a thousand visitors, which is a record apparently, which is great. Um, nearly ran out of business cards already. Oh, these are great. This is like the reindeer moss with the air plant compositions on the nice piece of sort of bog wood, really beautiful. Uh, here we have some more kind of rustic kind of things going on, more air plants. A lot of them are for sale today. A lot of them are showing off their kind of just their skills, I guess. This is nice. This is a lovely exhibit, more of a kind of tropical rainforest kind of effect, almost like it's actually properly scaped as well. Really beautiful. You can imagine this in your garden. Nice comfy seat. Really lovely. Yeah, a lot of vegan cookery area. A bar as well, which is handy for later on. Daffodils. More kind of generic house plants. This is beautiful. The sun's just catching this nicely, coming up through the skylights. You can see my shadow there probably in a minute. There we go. You can walk amongst the plants 
a real sense of being amongst nature. Beautiful. That sun's gorgeous coming through. Veggie pods for people for growing their own vegetables. And then we've got a, a stand dedicated to succulents. We really like succulents, this is nice. Mm. Beautiful. Got a care, handy care guide actually for succulents down here. It's really cool. More succulents. This is beautiful. It's beautiful bonsai trees. I don't know if any of you are bonsai fans out there. But these are absolutely stunning. You don't really get a sense of how big they are maybe with the with the film, but trust me, they're pretty big. I'm guessing they must be tens of years old, if not older. Stunning. Absolutely stunning examples. So the company is called Bonsai. Kai, Kai, however you pronounce that. I do apologise for my Japanese friends out there. Freddy's Flowers, the gimbal's playing up, do apologise. It's like a, some of you may have heard of HelloFresh, it's like HelloFresh for flowers, so you, you pay a monthly subscription and you get delivered your flowers, which um, we actually subscribe to at home, so it's always nice to have fresh flowers in the house. More plants. Perma Blitz London. It's like an educational drive about teaching kids about or oh, young you know community the importance of plants amongst the urban kind of life. These are beautiful little kind of roses and flowers in test tubes. Stunning. And uh, so much more to see, but I want to show you my stand, obviously. Um, two Aquascaper 600s. An Aquascaper 300 there from home. You might recognise this as my better tank. Uh, no livestock in here, uh, no filter, no heater. It's just literally to show off uh, aquascaping with the planting, etc. And if people are interested, I can talk about the techniques, you know, the how, how to use the filters and heaters, etc. But this show is more about showcasing aquascaping as a as a form of gardening and also as a form of art rather than a form of fish keeping. So that's why there's no no livestock in there today. Um, beautiful Iwagumi here using Frodo stone in Aquascaper 600. Got to give a shout out to Stephen Gould, a very good friend of mine, absolute legend. Helped me out all day the other day. Uh, lifted his tank and cabinet, all the equipment, escape complete as well. So it's only about 10, 10, 14 days old escape, so it's not grown in yet. But it's a really good example of how quick the plants can grow. And then after sort of four or five weeks, you'll get a full carpet like this at the front here. So it's a good educational kind of piece to talk to the, talk to the audience about, talk to the visitors to show them how, how the plants do grow and how they can look from planting all the way to the full maturity. Um, you've seen this one before, the 300. This is, you might have seen this guys, the Aquascaper 600 that I scaped about six months ago for my good friend Elon. Uh, huge thanks to Elon for letting me borrow his full, full scape, including livestock. This is definitely the star of the show. We must have had hundreds and hundreds of visitors to this tank. Lots of people crowding around uh, asking questions. Everything from questions like, um, they're pointing to the cherry shrimp and saying, are they genuine lobsters? Which I, I found very amusing. Um, lots of fascination about the plants themselves, you know, whether they actually survive underwater and how, how we look after them, how we, how we maintain them. And so it's just really, really great to get aquascaping out to this new audience uh, of gardeners. And yeah, I'm just so thrilled to be here. Here's, a couple, here's the sign that they kind of used to, um, to advertise my attendance here. I won't read it out so you can all read. So yeah, really privileged to be 
amongst the Royal Horticultural Society. And some of you may have heard of the Chelsea Flower Show, it's probably one of the biggest events in the world, a really kind of prestigious event attended by Royal Family, the, the Queen herself uh, goes, all the A-list kind of celebrities, actresses, actors, musicians. Um, it's a real kind of big deal and hopefully, who knows, in a few years I might be attending and exhibiting there, which would be really thrilling. Um, so we're actually running four workshops, two today and two tomorrow, and we're going to be scaping these uh, mason jars. So these are jars which are hermetically sealed. We've got a little bit of uh, Tropica soil in the bottom there, and then I've got a collection of nice small pieces of hardscapes and rocks and wood, and uh, some plants kindly donated by Tropica Aquarium Plants from Denmark. Most of you guys know who they are. And yeah, the guys, are gonna, the guys and girls, uh, it's fully booked, which is great. So there's going to be eight people at any one time during the workshops. And they're going to scape these mason jars. This is one I did yesterday in about two minutes. I uh, can't just really see it very well because it's not lit up, but just a bit, some bits of uh, wood and rocks and some plants. And the great thing is these can be uh, grown immersed or submersed. So they can fill the mason jar up if they want to with water and then do the water changes and, and watch the plants go through their transition from immersed state out of water to their submersed state underwater. Uh, which will be, I'm sure, fascinating for a lot of people and they've never seen anything like it. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be t t doing this workshop, quite excited to do it actually, and really engage with people and really give them an insight into the world of aquascaping, but just on a smaller scale, but all their principles can still be applied. And really kind of focus on the aquatic gardening aspect as well, because it is a gardening show after all, so that's exciting. And I'm also showcasing some of my photography as well. So I am a photographer, um, and here's some of my examples, some of you may have seen these already. And it's just nice to kind of show off a different kind of skill set to people to show and showcase the art form really, you know, a, a decent photograph really does help to show people um, what aquascaping is all about and the different livestock options, etc. So they're actually for sale. Um, so hopefully we can recoup some of the money that we've invested into the show but for me it's not really about it's not about the financial aspect it's just literally about spreading spreading aquascaping to a whole new audience and um, hopefully just you know just getting more people into it you know it's a beautiful hobby I'm so passionate about it and I just really relish any opportunity to spread the love as it were I want to show you this awesome exhibit. First time this kind of thing's ever been done at the RHS. It's all UV fun stuff. So some of you may be aware of the Aquashella show. This is kind of reminds me of that. I've never been yet, but I uh, I do intend to go next year. Uh, loads of stuff kind of lit up with UV lights. The garden bench there. Just a bit surreal, a bit kind of psychedelic, I guess. <laughs> Bioluminescent fungi. How cool is that? This is so cool. Oh, rest garden design. Shout out to I think it's Rob, the guy. A really nice guy. It's really trippy. How cool is that? And just check out. I'm going to show you the logo on my shirt as well. George Farmer. Sweet. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed that quick insight into the Royal Horticultural Society Urban Garden Show with a particular focus for me, obviously, on the aquascaping side. The first time ever it's been uh, exhibited here. So super privileged and uh, thanks to everyone that's helped. I've got to give a shout out to Elon, Steve in particular, and also Tropica for supplying the plants and soil. So that's it guys, hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a comment, what do you think? Do you think aquascaping should be exhibited at this sort of thing and do you think it has potential to grow you know to the absolute masses i hope i hope you do but let me know what your thoughts are you take care keep on scaping cheerio